Hello there, and welcome to another exciting episode of the Daily Dose of Drupal. Today we're on episode number 35, and today we're going to be covering the Login to Boggin module. But before we do that, and before we get started, you can follow me on Twitter, at smthomas3. You can go to my website at codecrowdy.com and sign up for the newsletter, which is right here, if you haven't done so already. And if you have any ideas for future episodes or modules you'd like me to cover, topics you'd like me to explore a little more, go ahead and let me know, either through the contact form, send me an email, or go ahead and contact me on Twitter. And there are, I have quite a few requests, and I'm trying to get through them, so if you have requested me or mentioned a module, I probably will get to it eventually. It just might take me a little bit to get through them. So I'm going to... F go ahead and download this login toboggan module and as you can see from the drupal.org project page it does some pretty cool things not only does it have a cool name but it also does a lot of cool things to help improve the Drupal standard login system so it allows users to log in using their username or their email address it allows p users to be able to log in immediately after creating an account rather than simply waiting for the email clicking the confirmation link and then going to the website so you can give them a, a user a pre-authenticated role once they click the confirmation in the email then they can get the fully authenticated role so there's a lot of things you can do there and it does a whole bunch of other things and we'll try to get through quite a few of them here so I'm going to go ahead and hop into the command line and download the login toboggan module it looks like I already had it downloaded but I'll go ahead and just overwrite it you can see it contains four modules, login, toboggan, content access integration, login, toboggan variable, login, toboggan rules, and just login, toboggan. And those other three modules, the ac content access variable and rules, are just integrations with other Drupal modules. We're not going to worry about those right now. We're going to go ahead and just enable the login, toboggan module and I will come over to our test site go to the modules page and I will find the login toboggan module using the module filter module and if you watched uh, the previous episode of the daily dose of Drupal we went over this module filter module which allows you to filter this make sure I notice there's a few bugs when you're searching and trying to enable modules so if you're having that issue make sure to use the most recent dev version of the module and it seems to fix it I believe. So we're going to go ahead and click on configure here. This is going to take us to the login toboggan administration page. So here we can select if we want users to be able to log in using their email address. So I'll go ahead and enable that. Here you can s allow, your, or allow your site to show one login re slash registration page. We'll go ahead and select that. You can also allow two email fields on the registration form, and this is just used to prevent a user from mistyping their email address. You can allow a user to set their initial password, which we'll go ahead and use that one as well. And it's going to, you can set a non-authenticated role. So basically when they are first log in, so, so when you allow them to set their password, it will allow the user to log in immediately, and they will get this role. Once the the user is then authenticated by clicking on the email that they get, they will then get the regular authenticated user's role. What's recommended, if you see, if you read this, uh, is that you use a a pre-authorized role. So you go into your click on people, you go into the roles and you set up a pre, pre-authenticated or pre-authorized role that has limited permissions, doesn't necessarily have all the authenticated permissions. I'm going to go ahead and leave this for now, but you know, read this uh, note here and make sure that you follow that if you're you know, doing this on any site where there's going to be users actually using this frequently. You can have it delete unvalidated users after a set number of time, and that will just use cron to go ahead and clean up users if they haven't validated their email address. Here's where it allows you to immediately log in. 
it will allow you to set a redirect path on registration so you can go to any page on the site I'm going to go ahead and find a page here I'm just going to take this link and we'll just redirect to node 1 and then you could also set one for after it's uh, after you go ahead and confirm the reader or confirm the lo the email excuse me that you get once you sign up for the site you can set up the module to present a login form on the access denied page so if you go to an access denied section of the site you'll get a login form instead of just the access denied you can display a login successful message. You can also set a minimum password length. So we'll go ahead and set a minimum password length of 8 in this example. So I'm going to save this. And as you can see, everything is pretty basic and straightforward. And there's really good information here uh, in, in this description for each field. And you should read those as it tells you a little bit more information and will give you an idea of what it can be used for. So I'm going to go ahead and log out and I'm going to click this create new account you can see now it's there's one page it's a little bit different than the Drupal standard tab system so you can say I have an account it's I mean it's similar but it is a little bit different you can also click on request a new password I'm going to say I want to create an account Give it a test user. Give it an email address. Go ahead and confirm that. And I'm only going to show you uh, six characters in the password, and you'll see that I'll get a message here. And this is other fields that I created in a past episode, but I'm going to ignore that. And you see I get a message saying the password is too short. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure I use an eight character password. Probably should make it a little stronger, but we'll leave it for now. I will go ahead and hit create new account. You can see I was then redirected to node slash one. It says thank you for applying for an account it's currently pending approval but it did let me go ahead and log in and I have the full I'm actually logged in as an authenticated user of the site so I was actually given that role we'll go ahead and log out and I will log back in as the admin well first of all you'll notice I can use my username or email so I can I'll log in as that user one more time And you can see I was able to log in using the email address instead of just the username. But I'll log in as an admin here. And I will go into the people section. You'll see the test user. And it doesn't show any roles, but I do have the authenticated user role. So that is the basics of the login toboggan module. It's very useful, especially if you want users to be able to use their email address instead of just their username, and you want to allow users to log in without having to confirm the email. If I went to my inbox now, I would have an email from the site that I would have that would have the confirmation link on it. And as it's recommended in the settings page, you should have two roles: one as a pre-authentication, and one then as the authorized user, of course, or the authenticated user and you can read here some additional things that it can do but it's a pretty simple module it does greatly enhance the login system in Drupal uh, in my opinion and I use it on a lot of larger sites that I've worked on so go ahead and give it a try and let me know what you think thanks for watching this episode of Daily Dose of Drupal Till next time